really see it. Uh, Novak, formerly at uh, Telford, I think. Phantoms win the, the draw, but uh, Sidibe gets something on it. It's Messi at the moment. Shot, save, goal! There you go. Opening goal. It looks like it was, uh, yeah. Yeah, a little Jake Sylvester. Like I said before the game, they're one of the good players, but we got got mixed up there. We weren't looking at what's going on. A bit of puck watching there, but they've started well, London, and uh, we need to get on our high horses here. Uh, last week, I think it was, and uh, it was a chance. There's the goal. Nice finish from Padalek, a little reverse from the uh, edge of the crease. Phantoms back on terms with uh, six minutes and uh, 57 seconds on the clock. Yeah, it was good work from James in the corner and uh, I think that's why Slava's got Paddy with James that because he will work really hard, he digs it out. Paddy's there supporting Ever Wells and uh, Connolly, I think it was, uh, John Connolly there just just to hack the puck away and there's Paddy just to finish at home nice there. Oh, and actually that straight over the blue line, Brandon Ailiff there beaten by Nathan Long who's had a decent Start to the game. Padalek. Whoa! What a strike from Alice Padalek. Onto the hash marks. Finds the postage stamp at the top of the goal. And the Phantoms have turned it round. 1 0 down to 2 1 up. Lovely little strike. Onto the hash mark. And whips it actually lower than I thought. Yeah, yeah, well, James made a nice pass here. But that's what we said earlier on about the support. So Paddy's giving a bit of support. And number 14 there just turns his back on the play there. And. Uh, Paddy just uses a screen and just reefs it top shelf. Odd man rush. Corey McEwen, big chance. Whoa! McEwen with the moves! Gets the goal. Phantoms, two goals in 30 seconds. Fantastic finish from Corey McEwen. Odd man rush. Stepanek feeds him. Number 71 into the circle. Oh, three. <laughs> Dear me. Yeah, that's, that's a great goal there, but the guy, the guy number 55 here just doesn't pick up Corey, and Corey had a bit too much speed, and the D guy was just call over and just straight through his legs. Oh my God. That's a Phantoms win it. That's Weldon wins the face off. That's Stepanek. Oh. So uh, Weldon's. I think he got the side of the helmet potentially. Yeah, Wells is alright. Wells is alright. He's played every position for Peter Bray. He's just got one in the side of the ear. Oh, he's going off. So uh, Wells must be hurt to go off. But good job he didn't hit him in the face like Robbie last week. So gets enough on it to keep it out. So patient from the Phantoms. Stepping out with a chance. Here he is again. Oh, and it's a goal. Well, Michael Gray got the. Uh, Got enough for the first shot, but it didn't get enough on that one. And uh, there was traffic. There is a screen. I mean, screened by his own man. Gets something on it. Down low. Bottom left-hand corner. Phantoms with a power play goal. 4-1. Yeah, that's, a, that's a, obviously Paddy's second goal and then Stepanek's goal again. Uh, obviously, he's using the D guys as a screen. And uh, obviously, Stepanek's got an absolute cannon. So. I think last year there was some potentially some criticism of the Phantoms that they didn't put their foot down when they were ahead in some games. Last week against Invicta, they, they, they did that. Yeah. And uh, oh, there's another goal there. Oh, no, well, it off, yeah, I'd like to see that again. But uh, but yeah, so the Phantoms are ahead. There's a big hole there. Oh, Michael Gray keeps it out, but that should have been a goal. And uh, Stepanek fires another one. Should come out. Oh, that's a goal for Peter Stepanek. Uh, well, he's shooting. When, when it's on target, that's a dangerous shot. A big shot from Stepanek. Yeah, I think that's why the sign step for them. Big, big power play shots there. But it was quite funny to see Weldon obviously pass it to Stepanek the first time and moved straight out of the way, so he didn't get one in the other ear. Then uh, made a nice little, little, little chip pass to him, and then uh, game over. Really. We need to uh, decide what what we're going to do now. Really, to be fair, obviously, in Victor, I suppose he's a chance. Oh, yes. So Stepanek absolutely confident that had gone in. Uh, we think it's about 115 miles. Whoa, great goal. Number 13, Dan Scott, former Telford Tiger, Basingstoke player. I think uh, played for Slough as well. Telford uh, got silverware. Nice boomer there from the blue line for number 13 for the Raiders. Yeah, 